Hello. Hi. Today we are hiking in central Switzerland and we're hiking the Riggi. It's a pretty well-known mountain. There's a train that goes all the way up and that's I think why it's pretty famous, but we're gonna be hiking it. Maybe we'll get to the top, we'll see. The beginning is a little rocky and quite steep. There are several steps too, so I would definitely say it's not a stroller friendly hike. To hike the Rigi, um, you can take public transit, um, you can take the train to Art Goldau, and then you can hike up the road until you hit the trailhead. There are a couple different trailheads there that you can start at. We went to Rigi Vig 30, and there's a little parking lot. In a, Goldau. In Goldau. There is a little cable car that looks really old and hasn't been used in 50 years. It says it takes about three hours and 15 minutes to get all the way up. And it's five kilometers? Yeah, it's one way. five kilometers. About 30 minutes up the trail if you find you need to use the restroom or get some water or want to have a meal. There is a guest house. It's called Dechli. Dechli. So, I don't even know if your face was in that. Dechli. <laughs> so, if you need to stop. It's a very there. nice host. Are you happy? Really is having fun. <laughs> You're so happy. It's just ecstatic. And that, I don't know if you can see that red and white pole. That's the top, so we're getting there. This is what a very sunscreened head looks like. You getting your diaper changed on top of the riggy? So a snack that is really great for um, kids and babies about while you're traveling are these Juice, or like pureed fruit pouches. Yeah. There are lots of different brands. We've been traveling the last couple weeks and they have been fantastic for the airplane, for the hike, for whatever, because the packaging doesn't Anders. weigh much like normal baby food and in jars. Play with the grass. And uh, they're just, they're really, really easy um, to carry with you. As is evident by all the people around us, there is a much easier way to get to the, top of the mountain <laughs> than hiking. You can take a train. But then you don't get all the peaceful scenery on the other side of the mountain. Yeah, because right here there's just tons of people. So when you're standing on top of the Rigi, you're going to see a couple lakes. So 
the left is Lake Lupsan, and I'll stick an arrow in there, but that is the city of Lutzan. And then if you look to the right, this is Lake Tsug and the city of Tsug. And then one over, you can even see a little bit of like Zurich. If you look all the way over there. Ah, uh, yeah. All the way over there is the, the tiny bit of Lake Zurich. The only downside to hiking with a baby is they get tired a lot faster than we do and they need to sleep. One of the only problems with the hiking backpack is that it's not comfortable for a baby to sleep in. At least this one. What ends up happening is daddy gets to carry the baby. Many. We'll see how long he needs to nap, but it should be fine. And we put lots of sunscreen on him, so hopefully he's yeah. okay. But if you have any recommendations for for a backpack that would be comfortable for a baby and would be comfortable for the person carrying the baby, then let us know in the comments. It took about three hours to get all the way up to the top. And maybe a little longer. Maybe a little longer and an hour and about f hour 40 minutes to get back down. Which just goes to show how steep it was. And we're tired. Except Anders, he got a nap. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Are you having fun? He is, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining us today. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>